privilege to introduce my friend of 43 years and partner of 16 years this evening, Howard Milstein. Um, so I first, I first met Howard in 1976 when he was a um, freshly minted JD MBA coming out of the Harvard Law and Business Schools and I recruited him to come to work for me at Warburg Perry, Bob Becker, a small investment banking firm that in 1984 was acquired by Merrill Lynch. Um, no good deed goes unpunished. In 2003, when I retired from Merrill Lynch, Howard invited me to accept my first job in my new chapter of my life, uh, working with him. <clears throat> Owing to these rather unusual events, I've had the opportunity to see Howard perform in a variety of circumstances. Uh, at uh, in the early years, he was uh, burning the midnight oil, uh, doing spreadsheets and writing contact reports, if you can imagine that. Uh, as he and I traveled in Europe together, calling on the clients of Warburg and Paribas. More recently, uh, I've gone from mentor to partner, where I am supporting him in managing a very substantial collection of uh, private businesses across a number of industries, including real estate, banking, law, and the golf industry, just to name the most important activities there. Howard's biography, which is in your brochures there, uh, describes most of his most significant activities in business and, phil and, and philanthropy, which spans medicine, education, uh, the arts, and uh, <clears throat> law enforcement. His endeavors are, are global and have taken place in China, England, France, and Australia. And of these, France and China have recognized Howard's achievements by giving him the highest awards of their country, the Legion of Honor and the Marco Polo Award. It is worth noting that in the case of China, in 2011, Howard established the Milstein Medical Asian American Partnership Foundation, which was created for the purpose of providing fellowships to Chinese doctors to take residence in the U.S. for a couple of years, learn new skills in their field, and return to China and bring their new skills back into that country. In England, Howard has been actively engaged with and financially supportive of the Royal College of Music and Cambridge University, where his son went to school. Since 2003, when I joined the Milstein organization, I have probably spent more time with Howard than anyone except his wife, Abby, and his son, Michael. As a result of that, I have witnessed the extraordinary capacity of Howard to absorb, process, and retain information, uh, which has enabled him to function across all of the platforms in the business world and the not-for-profit world, which I have touched on this evening. I have witnessed the compassion and loyalty that Howard has shown for friends and employees who have encountered personal or medical difficulties, and seeing him use his resources and contacts in the medical world to help them address their issues. Very simply, Howard and Abby are committed to making this a better world. It is now my great honor to bring Howard to the podium to receive the richly deserved Foreign Policy Associate Award.